Today we're going to look at using preset values to create galaxies. Creating galaxies has never been this easy. You can select, uh, for example, the Milky Way to create a galaxy exactly the size and shape of our Milky Way. Unfortunately, we don't have the computing power to create all uh, 200 billion stars that our Milky Way actually has so in fact each single star over here represents about 20 million stars in the Milky Way also these uh, stars are 20 million times more heavy than the usual star but we can also create uh, a spiral galaxy like this And uh, this galaxy contains uh, stars that are uh, more the uh, mass of a usual star. Only the cross section is much smaller. If we now zoom out, we see uh, the Milky Way galaxy again. And in a very small section, this is our new galaxy. So this is another way to use uh, to run simulations on galaxies. Right now, let's uh, create a spiral galaxy, and uh, after that, create some smaller galaxies that will orbit the spiral galaxy. Here we have small ellipses. Let's give it an initial speed of 1 million meters per second and place it over here. Now when we run the simulation, uh, the galaxy will start moving in this direction and will start orbiting the larger galaxy. We can create uh, another uh, three galaxies and place them in the other three corners. So, two more. This one will have a vertical speed of 1 million meters per second. Note that every time I place uh, this smaller galaxy, the scale starts changing to accommodate to the size of the galaxy. But in this case, I will zoom out to place the galaxy over here. So uh, we could place one more in this corner and then run the simulation. I've already created a recording for this. So let's take a look at that. Let's run the simulation and observe how four smaller galaxies are orbiting the larger galaxy. When we take a look at the larger galaxy, we see the stars are constantly uh, rotating around the center. Uh, the smaller galaxies are slowly uh, torn apart by the larger galaxy. Also, the outer uh, regions of the larger galaxy uh, are uh, deforming. And then, uh, uh, galaxies are color coded according to speed. We can also uh, co code them according to force. So now um, the stars uh, with the purple color uh, have um, more uh, experience, more uh, force of gravity than um, stars with 
for example a pink color and it just makes it looks very nice so you can see now that uh, the four smaller galaxies have already been uh, ripped apart a bit and uh, contain large strings of stars that have been uh, dragged out of the smaller galaxies uh, by the large galaxy. Alright, enough of this. I'll uh, take a look at um, let's of the color coding. Let's uh, take a look at a uh, small galaxy. We can uh, color uh, s galaxies. So we can create, for example, a blue galaxy another uh, galaxy uh, in yellow and uh, we can uh, do this to observe how uh, the merging of galaxies uh, place. I've already created a recording of this so let's take a look Or here we have a red and a green uh, galaxy, and when we run simulation, you see that they are orbiting each other and uh, changing shape. And slowly they uh, are uh, moving together and uh, mixing and merging the one, one uh, galaxy. But you can see that all. Uh, most of red and green uh, is pretty much mixed all over the place. Uh, these uh, clusters of uh, green and red stars are still uh, moving very much in the sun and uh, are uh, connected to the host uh, galaxy. It takes a long time before they uh, actually uh, move and uh, like one galaxy you can see that slowly they become more and more entangled but it takes a long time right so now we have two really nice uh, simulations with just a few mouse clicks I suggest you not try it for yourself